So we're going to start with the roasting, and that means getting the, the, the chunky chopped veg into a you big know, roasting tray. I always get wrong with roasting. I always seem to burn the edges when I'm roasting veg, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You're doing nothing wrong. Burning the edges is cool. It's what, that little bit of caramelisation, and you'll see in a minute when I bring the next phase of this dish out of the oven, I've deliberately burnt the edges because that, that's where a little bit of flavour comes oh, okay. in. You know when you roast a parsnip and you get that crispy mm. bit on the end, slightly browned, you get a toffeeish flavour, and, and that's something to be encouraged. That's, that's good news. Yeah, a little bit of herb. You if you did your toast like that, Ruthie. No, exactly. Like burnt but that's the thing is, we, we like that, that burning yeah. flavour on the meat or the fish, the crispy skin or the, or the caramelised exterior. We need to be looking at that. What was that onion you just mentioned? So, yeah. so, so, so these are Terry's beautiful onions. Onions, potatoes uh, and fennel are the basis mm. of this. And I, I'm scattering around a few of these beautiful plum tomatoes. Just taste one of those. A uh, little bit of Ooh. salt. Oh, no, drop that one. Ha go for it. Don't miss <laughs> Terry's tongue. Would you encourage people to grow your own shoe? Because that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of converting oh, well, our whole garden like a good life. Of, are you? Yeah. Um, you're, it's addictive. You know, I, I meet lots of people who are lovely enough to say, I got an allotment because I, I was inspired by River Cottage or by anything, but, but, and now I don't look back. This has got to go in the oven. Okay. It's going to just roast with a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, in a hot oven. And then 45 minutes later, you're used to this trick, of course. <laughs> Whoa! Apart from my glasses steaming up. <laughs> um, that's yeah. what it so looks like. So you don't like. mind the little where it's gone a bit black. Oh, now, I've, now I've stood on the tomato. I've dropped it. Now I've stood on it. Sorry. It's cool though. <laughs> now you see these colours, and you were, you say you're worried about browning or burning. You shouldn't be. That I'm going to put that aside for you to have a little taste because it's okay. got that toffeeish taste. But this is where we turn the roast into a bit of a stew. There's a little bit of water in there. Uh, some tomato oh, passata, yeah. mm -hmm. and now we're going to build up the flavours and the textures. This is harissa paste. That's got a chilli-like kick. Yeah. What's so harissa give that a stir. What is harissa? Ha harissa is mainly chilies, but it's yeah. also got a bit of garlic and some lovely spices. It's, an, it's a sort of Middle Eastern, yeah. North African chilli paste. Let's put a little bit more in that, because we like it spicy. And before that goes in, we're building up a few more flavours and a bit more body. Some pulses, chickpeas, uh, they're always good for adding a little bit of... Mm. It's not just balanced, it's a creamy texture that I really like. And you've got protein, I suppose. And, with the and a little bit of protein. protein. This is one of those dishes where you're really not going to miss the meat. Uh, olives, a little salty tang comes in at this moment. This is my kind of dish, isn't it? Yeah. This yeah. is the kind of thing I play... I like a one-pot dish. I'm a bit of a Yeah, exactly. Cook, really. You're just building it out. It's a two-phase, one-pot dish. Can I nibble the onion? You can, that, that, that's the fennel, remember? Well, that's the fennel. And that's I want fennel. you to taste that mm. little... Look for that little caramelised flavour. This is going to go back in the oven now. The fennel's not as aniseedy or liquorice as it, I thought. It, it yeah. mellows a little bit once mm. it's been roasted. Mm. And you've got some of that sort of onion sweetness. Yep. And then when, it, when it's all done... Mmm, that's lovely. It, yep, it looks like this, you see. Mm. We've really Can built up the layers and the flavours. Yeah. And that's the thing. Um, if you have some substance to it, some something... Mm, tasty, savoury in it's, there. You, you've got to you've got to make it hearty and build up the flavours and get plenty to get your your teeth and your tongue round. Now, uh, I've prepared another set of ingredients here. I don't know if we've got time to do a very quick how whiz up. How long have we got? Two minutes. Yes, yes. Th 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 this is how easy this. Is. This is. You, you can help me out here. We we'll stick some of these things in. We've got Terry's beautiful allotment carrots, some red onion, some olives, some chilli. What's and so that? that is salty preserved lemon. Oh, Another little see that? really Hello. big beefy flavour you get from that. Okay. So that goes in, and the whole thing gets a very quick blitz. With again, a little bit of oil. The dressing comes out from all the other flavours. What are you using? Is that, um, that that's okay, actually olive. English rapeseed oil, which oh, is a good oil. alternative. Just a few little pulsy moments. Let take it down a little bit further. This is what I call my Moroccan carrot blitz. Yeah. So you take it down till there's still plenty of texture, and the last thing we're going to do is just put in a bit of coriander. And if you'd like to spoon that out, Ruth, I did have one standing by, but and this is going to be even fresher. So what is this? Tasty. This is a side dish. You have this like a it's side a little dish. side dish, and it's all raw, but again, absolutely bursting with punchy flavours. And raw is so good for you, isn't it? Of course it is. All of the course it is. And, but you've got to make raw food really tasty, and you've mm. got to get some nice seasonings into it. And I see Eamon's helped himself to a, a, a portion yes, of the roast Yes, he often does that. <laughs> How on. are you getting on with that, Eamon? 
tell me the, the tomato essence that you put into what, what was what was that? Well, th this is harissa, mm. so it's, yeah. it's got quite a chilli kick to it yeah. as well. Really so nice. it warms the whole thing up. Mm. And then you've got remember Terry's whole cherry tomatoes in too, which are little really nice. flavour bombs just going off a little bit of extra sweetness. Mm. Mm. Well, there's so many flavours. Mm. There's a lot going on. I isn't just there? got some olive. Yeah, a little bit of chilli. Every mouthful's different, mm. and everything is you know stimulating it's all like your the taste buds. Arabic or something. Is there it? is a, definitely mm. a bit of Middle yeah. Eastern going mm. on there. Mm -hmm. mm. Try the carrot salad because that's playing with similar flavours, but in a fresh raw, just raw crunchy carrot, setup. onion, olives. A little bit of that salty lemon, lemon as well. Mm -hmm. Good man, Hugh. So much more veg. That's what we all need. That's the mantra. That's so f you'll love that. Will I? It's really f fresh. You can have my fork because we're married, so that's okay. Yes. <laughs> Wouldn't think twice. <laughs> it's a well-kept <laughs> secret, that, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> married in the kitchen, anyway. <clears throat> very fresh on the palate. Very, very nice. Hugh, thank you very much indeed. Lovely. It's a thank real you. pleasure. Lovely to see you. Thank Hope you. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Lovely.